welcome back. And he centers Max Wilman to start this game along with Jerry Mayhew. Underway. Wings and the Flyers. They'll play twice here in a matter of three days. And I imagine, Scott, the first couple of shifts when you're coming out of an all-star break for both clubs, kind of just get the legs moving and get yourself a feel into the game. Except Carter Hart has to make a big save there off a bad flyer turnover as down low there was Philip Zanina. Bertuzzi will move it back along toward Fabry. And he'll get it to Larkin. And now it's Sider across. Raymond right back to him as the rookies play catch. And now here's Larkin firing it. The redirection, they score. Bertuzzi was in front, but so was Fabry. And the power play goal puts the Red Wings on top, 1 0. Some good puck movement all around. There's Raymond Larkin heading north down. And looks like it goes off Ivan Provorov's skate and past Carter Hart's stick. But uh, when you've seen the, seen the defenders on a penalty kill, bad things seem to happen. And just an unlucky deflection, but looks like it's going to be Larkin's goal. As the Flyers will have to battle from behind as they have had to do so often this year. Nick Sealer back in the line. Got that puck to McEwen for a shot. He scores! There was traffic in front, but I'm not sure McEwen needed it. He beats the man out of it, and the Flyers have tied this game at one. McEwen, we were showing him through some of his work before the game. He gets scored on early. It's had a great shift. The fourth line here for the Flyers. Zach McEwen hustling in the slot there and just rips it five hole. A little traffic right in front of Nedeljkovic. Kind of maybe fooled him a little bit. But good uh, good shot there. Good hustle by Zach McEwen on that four check. Getting in there, beating the icing, getting it back and sliding her home. See the first time we saw the replay. There's the turnaround shot by Zach McEwen. It was slightly before that. This is it. That tip right there, the stick. After further review, the ruling on the ice is confirmed. There was no goaltender interference. Good goal. Confirmed. There we go. He's checking it's his buck back to Provorov. Down low, Van Riemsdyk walks out in front, jams away, but cannot get it in. And Red Wings able to freeze the puck. 1 1 remains the score. And now Lucas Raymond will drop it back down low for Larkin, who gets free and then lost the puck. He gets it back. Larkin out to the point. Shot. Ronick blocked in front. Raymond picks it up. First try, stop. Second try, he scores. Just too much time in front for a player of his skill. And the impressive Red Wings rookie gives Detroit the lead right back 2 to 1. Some good puck uh, movement here by Dylan Larkin. Puck comes through there. Ronick getting in there. The one shot doesn't go in, but you stick with it. Carter Hart is kind of out of his net, out of position a little bit on that one, and is able to go backhand right on the ice in the net. And uh, just some, just some. Once the Red Wings have that puck in the zone, there's no giving it up. But here's Raymond going backhand. Detroit Raymond has that goal with that goal. Two-one Detroit. Flyers have the puck. And here's Sandheim. He'll wind and fire, and the save made. The puck bounces to Lindblom around behind. He'll drop it off. Now they center it. Sandheim a shot. He scores. Flyers answer right back as Sandheim evens things at two. On the Delphic, but some good puck control here by Limbaugh. Over to Drew behind the net. Some confusion for the Red Wings. Who's got who? And here's the initial shot by Sandheim. And there's Drew all alone behind the net. He's going to make that pass. And wow, what a bomb there from Travis Sandheim coming in. Short side. Not many goaltenders are going to stop that one. Flyers in a long stretch where they'll be mostly at home. 11 of 13 games at home. Max Wilman up the left wing here for a shot! It hits the post, it stayed out! The rebound to Broussard, he tries to center. And the Red Wings able to gobble it up. Red Wings move in. The pass. Medina, side of the net, walking in front. Rasmussen got one shot up, another backhander, save Hart. And he's able to cover that second try came from Raymond as again, players buzzing around in the slot area. Red Wings get to the puck off the draw in front. The save by Hart off of Zadina. And the Flyers will move it the other way. Sider on the other side of the ice keeps it in. Flyers are stuck in their zone here. Bertuzzi holding on to Fabry. Fabry in the slot. Suter shot. He scores. Just a matter of time. And Suter beats Hart to give the Red Wings their third lead of the game. It's 3-2. Just skating the Flyers to, to death in their own zone. And uh, just a beautiful pass there. 
and not the hardest shot in the world by Suter, but well placed there. And uh, that was probably about just about a minute of defensive hockey and you, your legs get tired, your mind gets tired. And just a wide open guy right in front of the net. Flyers trying to get a change here. And they will get most of the players off the ice. Right back come the Red Wings. Suter to Fabry for the shot he scores. Robbie Fabry able to beat Hart. And for the first time the Red Wings lead by two. Flyers are trying to get guys off. Uh, not all of them are able to get off the tired defenseman there, Rissa line, and then just a beautiful entry there. And Robbie Fabry, he can snipe when he gets in that position, but Suter with a beautiful pass, good heads up play there. He beats Carter Hart through the through the six hole, but when you can't get all the guys off the ice and you leave. The Red Wings will play the puck up. Sealer is back to the Detroit the line, connects the into the middle lot, try to dangle Austin, connecting follows up to Lott, and he scores! The fortunate bounce. Watt takes advantage. And the Flyers right back within one. It's 4-3. When you're working hard, and TK with a great shot here at full two on one, loses the puck. But TK got on his horse, heads to the blue paint, and hey, sometimes you get a nice bounce and an empty netter, and Scotty Lawton is not gonna miss that when he's fired up. Look at his face. Nice fist pump to his teammates, but it's nice to have those bounces come back at you, and they make it a one-goal game here. Flyers are working hard, trying to get that puck back, but just haven't been able to get those opportunities. The Red Wings doing a good job of just controlling them into the outside. And up oh. there, they go and they score! Smith beating Carter Hart to make it 5-3 Detroit. Giovanni Smith, no more for his rough stuff, an aggressive play gets his fourth of the year. Like I said, lots of speed there coming through. And Got his head up the whole time. He knows where he wants to shoot that. He wants to get that on net. Not only maybe score on the play, but for a rebound with his partner driving to the net there. And Carter Hartz is one that he'd like to have back. The net minder for the Wings. He looked beatable early in this game. Was beatable early in this game. The Flyers couldn't take full advantage. Mestikoff, nice spin move. He's got the empty net. Giroud chasing him. He'll just push it in for the empty net goal. To finish off the Flyers, 6-3, Detroit. Mestikoff with the empty netter. They win the draw, Flyers get in after it. Atkinson get in there, trying to do the right thing. Sam Gagne, a nice little backhand spin move there by Mestikoff and Captain Flo Drew going down there, trying everything to get back at him and couldn't quite get it done, but Sam Gagne with a heads up play and Mestikoff gets it done. And so the Flyers unable to make it three consecutive wins. They don't carry the momentum over from before the All-Star break. The Red Wings come to Philadelphia and register a regulation win for the first time since the late 90s.